Well, I started studying the Old Testament uh, in depth in at Westminster Theological Seminary. I had become I had become a Christian as a as a boy, and then gone on to uh, study at the University of Western Ontario. But when I was studying there, I found that there was a lot of questions that uh, non-Christians had for me as I shared my faith. So I felt I needed to go to seminary. So after studying at the University of Western Ontario, I went to Westminster Theological Seminary. And while there, my whole goal was to get some of these questions answered for me so that I could be a better witness for Christ. But also um, to kind of really think through the New Testament, in particular the New Testament's um, eschatology. But when I was there, I was captivated by the Old Testament and realized that, that there was so much that I needed to know about the Old Testament to be able to understand the New Testament. And there was an instructor there that I had, two instructors I had there, um, that really um, uh, passion, developed a passion in me for the Old Testament. One was Raymond Dillard, um, and the second one was Palmer Robertson. And uh, Dr. Dillard passed away about uh, maybe 15 or 20 years ago. Uh, and I think Palmer Robertson is still still living, but they they really had this passion for the scriptures. And, and I realized how much uh, I didn't know of the Old Testament and how much the meaning of the New Testament depended on knowing the Old Testament. And I've kind of uh, used an analogy to describe the importance of the Old Testament in that respect. If you, uh, most people have read The Lord of the Rings, which is the, uh, it has the, uh, the, the three volumes, The Fellowship of the Ring, uh, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King. And then of course, the, the prequel to with The Hobbit. Um, so you have four volumes. Well, reading the New Testament without reading the Old Testament would be like reading the last volume, The Return of the King, without reading the first three volumes. Sure, you could understand some of it, but uh, you really need the, uh, the, uh, the first three quarters, as it were, to be able to understand it. Uh, so that's the, that would be one of the reasons why I started uh, studying the Old Testament. Uh, in depth. And then when I, I, I developed such a love for the Hebrew language when I was at University at Westminster Seminary that I decided when I would go further that I would um, I would go to a, a graduate school and study Hebrew. And uh, um, that's where I ended up at the University of Toronto and did a PhD in classical Hebrew language and literature. And uh, the uh, the, I was really interested in the larger discourse structure of Hebrew, uh, which led in some ways to my interest in the larger big picture of the Old Testament. Uh, but that, and so uh, then I, uh, uh, the Lord called me to, uh, at the time, Atlantic Baptist University after I graduated from the University of Toronto. And uh, then it became uh, um, uh, Crandall University. And uh, so, that's uh, where I developed the interest in um, this, this, the Old Testament. In particular, what I'm interested in is theology of the Old Testament or the big picture of the Old Testament and how it unpacks the meaning of what God is trying to say to, uh, to us and to his people.